Hey everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all burnout games for the Sony PS2. The first burnout game ever released was pretty basic. It didn't quite have the action for which we love burnout today. It had the cool elements for which the burnout series is known for, but it feels as if the elements were only seeds that only with later titles bloomed into the explosive action game 3 Burnout is known for. As I said, the first game was pretty basic. It has some game modes, but they mostly feel the same. You get 9 cars in total and 16 tracks. The game also includes the famous boost meter, which you fill up by driving dangerous. And the game was one of the few of its time to have traffic. And you know what happens when there are lots of cars around. They crash. The trademark of Burnout is born. But in the first game the crashes aren't that exciting. The cars still behave like toys. The cars don't bend or contort that much like in later titles. They just swing around a little. It's still awesome for that time, but looking at the game now, the effects aren't as impressive as they used to be. Ok, so I want to draw some conclusions with the first game that it's a great game that is fairly fun to play even today. Though, considering how much the franchise progressed and bloomed, now the game is good more only for novelty reasons, to find out where the franchise started. It's like returning to the first light bulbs. Sure, they did the job back then, and they will still do the job now, but today's ones shine brighter and do a better job. And from Burnout 2, the franchise started to look more like today. They improved every aspect of the game and made the jump from a generic arcade racer to an explosive experience that will remember your whole lifetime. The game has personality now. The generic cars look better and the tracks got a major facelift. There are so many facts and details and the effects and details are not only on the tracks, they are on the crashes too. Now the cars don't just tumble and slightly bend, no, now you can see car parts flying around, cars contorting and bending, and the loose car controls you had in the first game are gone. Now the cars control way nicer, you have more control on the vehicles. And the tracks are more varied, they don't look that generic anymore, they look more exciting, and there's more variety in the color palette too and in the effects, having stuff like snow or rain. And you get more game modes too, like for example the one where you have to cause mayhem for the biggest score. For me, this mode is the best. It's called Crash. And you have to do exactly what the name says. Crash into stuff to cause mayhem. You also get a pursuit mode, where you play as a cop and have to take down racers. Also the takedown as we know in Burnout, wasn't invented yet. So you end up bumping into racers until they eventually crash, they even have a health bar. Or you just park in front of them and that counts as a continuous hit. Anyway, Burnout 2 Point of Impact is a fantastic game and it gets closer to the masterpiece Burnout is known for. And as I said, the game is fantastic. But it's not a masterpiece yet. But Burnout 3 Takedown is a masterpiece. The first game was pretty generic, but still fun. Burnout 2 was a very good game. But Burnout 3 is a masterpiece. Even the developers were skeptic if they could push the hardware more than they did in Burnout 2. And then EA bought the rights for Burnout and for its game engine, Renderware, and pushed the developers into making this piece of art. Remember that this is a 2004 game. For that year, these graphics were jaw-dropping, and the game runs smoother and faster than ever before. And even the content is crazier. Now you get 75 cars and 18 tracks set on three continents, America, Europe and Asia. And the track diversity skyrocketed even further. The effects, the driving, every aspect is improved to such eye-watering level that the game is timeless. Even now, almost 20 years later, it's still as amazing to play as it was back then. 
and I think even 20 years after this, the game will still be as good as it. It's time. It's a masterpiece. Oh, and I said in the Burnout 2 review that the takedowns as we know them now weren't invented yet. Well, with Burnout 3, the takedowns are here. With Burnout 3 takedown, the takedowns are here and they are awesome. The takedowns consist of you slamming into your opponents and gaining boost by taking out opponents, which is cool and looks cool. The game is a master. Burnout Revenge takes the masterpiece and improves on it. Now the crashes are even more fun. You can crash into traffic and throw other cars around, though there are some rules. You are not fully indestructible. If you smack into oncoming traffic or into big vehicles, your car gets wrecked. Also if other opponents hit a car you wrecked, you will get takedown bonuses. Also Burnout Revenge introduces the revenge system by which if one opponent takes you down, that opponent will get marked so that you can take revenge. The car handling feels improved, also the game loses one game mode, the face off, but wins another, the crash breaker mode, where you slam into traffic for points. This game too is a masterpiece. And Burnout Dominator is the only video game in the Burnout series to be developed by a studio other than Criterion Games. The game remains almost the same in its core, but there is a major problem. The crash mode is gone. It was my favorite game mode in Burnout, and they took it away. But the novelty in the game is that now the boost can turn blue. So there is a new degree of boost. The boost is called supercharged boost. And you can chain multiple boosts one after the other. But even if they've cut the crash mode, the game still has a big amount of game modes. The game is fantastic. But it's a shame that after the franchise got to a masterpiece level, this game made the franchise go back to just being fantastic. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, click the join button and choose one of the perks. You have the link to the join button in the description. Also you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord if you want. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.